Welcome to the Horizon Newscast for the week of October 1st, 2012. I'm Sandra Morris. According to Student Life, alcohol is the number one problem on campus since the lodges have been built. They held an education session about the ramifications of alcohol usage. Several times a semester, IU Southeast hosts the alcohol education class to inform students of the risk of alcohol use. Topics covered include learning the signs of a drinking problem, people at risk for a drinking problem, and what happens at various blood alcohol levels. Seth Chalampun explains why the topic of alcohol was discussed instead of other campus issues. We thought it would be an opportunity to teach a class where they have to show up on a Friday morning and learn a little bit about the topic, maybe dismiss some myths they might have picked up through uh, either their friends or on the internet. Charles Edlin discusses possible punishment for students that are found with alcohol on campus. That it can also go to as far as uh, the officer issuing a, a criminal citation, which means that, that the student would then have to go to court in Floyd County, downtown New Albany, and, and potentially face a fine from the court. Seth also explained help that is offered on campus for students with drinking problems. Um, we do for students with, with, that, we, that we can identify with more of a drinking problem. Um, we do have personal counseling services here, and they do uh, certainly a, a, an assessment for the students individually. From Hillside Hall, I'm Cassidy Cheek, the Horizon Newscast. If you missed this session, the next one will be held on Friday, November 2nd in Hillside Hall, Room 100. Students that would like to seek counseling for alcohol and other personal issues contact Personal Counseling Services in UC South, Room 201 or by calling the office at 812-941-2244. Continuing with the series, Approve This Message 2012, the Civil Liberties Union held a forum for Constitution Day, How to Empower the Individual. Guest speaker Jane Henniger, Executive Director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Indiana, spoke to IU Southeast students. Constitution is what the ACLU is all about. Our clients um, only share one um, fact. They believe that their civil rights, as guaranteed by the Constitution, have been infringed upon. And so we are often the only organization that will help protect those rights. Stefan Moore, political science sophomore, discusses the importance of the Civil Liberties Union available to all students on campus. I mean, the way that it's important is it's, it's extremely important to any American citizen, including young people, including, um, you know, old people. Dan Tomanek, political science and international studies junior, explains the Civil Liberties Union role here on campus. We're an entirely nonpartisan group. We have everything from socialists to Democrats, Republicans, libertarians, uh, anarchists even uh, within our mix. So it's always good to have, uh, you know, new voices to add to that. I'm Jody Hamilton signing off for the Horizon Newscast. Check back next week for our continued series, Approve This Message 2012. Students shake it for a good cause at a culture dance party held by the Multicultural Student Union. Kate Smith attended the party. The Multicultural Student Union held a cultural dance party in order to give back to the IU Southeast community. The dance was originally supposed to be held in the Hoosier Room, but due to miscommunication was held at the Shelter House. MSU's main mission is to bring diversity to the campus and to reach out to the community. The party was held to get people involved and gain support in their mission. The president of the MSU, Christopher Cole, General Studies Senior, said he hoped to get all types of dance out on the floor. It was just to get everybody together to show off different cultures and dances that many people have, like hip-hop, R&B, pop, top 40, techno, everything. So that's what we do. The MSU provided the dance with the DJ. Jerron Jones said he enjoyed the atmosphere and had fun. It's cool. I, I, at first, it was a small crowd, and then as the as the music started uh, pioneering through the air, I guess everybody heard from from campus. So, it, it's 
I like it, it's awesome. College students of all ages came out to enjoy the music. Jayana Ivey, sociology freshman, said she doesn't know much about the group, but definitely enjoyed the music with her friends. Yes, I am. I'm enjoying myself. Me and my friends. Something to do. We're, like, we're not bored right now. From the Shelter House, I'm Kate Smith, the Horizon Newscast. MSU will be participating in the Louisville AIDS Walk on October 14, 2012. To get involved, visit louisvilleaidswalk.org. Here's a look at what's coming up at IU Southeast. Censorship is not dead. Check out the Banned Books Readout, Tuesday, October 2nd in the library on the third floor, 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Order your class ring Wednesday, October 3rd, outside the campus bookstore, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And don't forget to end the week nearly naked during the IU Southeast Nearly Naked Mile, Thursday, October 4th, in McCullough Plaza from 6.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. For a complete list of campus activities, check the campus calendar on the IU Southeast homepage. Thank you for watching the Horizon Newscast. Check back next week for all things IU Southeast by visiting our website at iushorizon.com. Again, I'm Sandra Morris. Have a great week. I'm off the ground, I won't come around, I'm looking down. Oh, I walk before, but I won't no more.